I think we're live. Why is it showing? Oh, no. Oh, no. I think we're live, but like, but Twitch is so weird now. It's not even. It's so weird now. It's not even. What is? Okay. All right. All right. So we're live on Twitch. Sorry, guys. I have no clue what's happening. Just uh, general general stuff getting messed up it's pretty classic uh but i'm i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure we're here uh so what's up welcome to the autoblog live stream uh the official live stream of autoblog.com my name is eric and i'm the multimedia producer at autoblog and i am joined by autoblog news editor right joel uh yes. <laughs> uh Autoblog news editor Joel Stocksdale. What's up? Uh oh. Did we lose Joel? I wanted to, want to see uh, no, I mean I'm still here. I'm just messing up you. <laughs> um <clears throat> I wanted to see how long you would wait. <laughs> I mean before asking. <laughs> before panicking, you mean? Oh god, yeah. we lost Joel. <laughs> um, just my AMG, what's up? Uh, so we are here because we are attempting to f uh, play some Need for Speed crossplay. As you can see, on the left hand uh, side of the screen there, I just received an invite um, from Joel, and that was an EA invite. Mm. We became EA friends earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and accept this request. And Joel is currently on a PS4. Are you on a, a Pro by any chance? Or are you just on a regular PS4? I am on an old school launch spec PS4. Wow. So clearly that thing smokes the Xbox One S uh, in terms of <laughs> loading speed. <laughs> because you <laughs> are loading way faster than me today. But I, So I believe I'm in this party, by the okay. way. Okay. So I guess I will... Hit play online. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure you want to start a multiplayer session with this group? Yes. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're a sketchy crew, but, you know, <laughs> we'll give it a shot. True. Okay, I'm loading in. That's a good sign. All right. So, same here. Good stuff. This is good. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the yeah. way, I think I, I addressed this in the title of the Switch stream, the Twitch stream, I think. But uh, RIP to Mixer. What a wild announcement that was. Oh yeah. So, no, uh, no, it didn't. But honestly, that was a uh, that was a beautiful moment in my life because, like, two minutes after I saw that happened, I immediately deleted Mixer from all of our backend stuff. So clearly, we're no longer streaming <laughs> on Mixer. Nobody ever watched us on Mixer, anyways. Uh, <laughs> long live Twitch and and YouTube. So, so correct me if I'm wrong. Mixer was the uh, the Microsoft one that they paid like yes Ninja you are you are not money, wrong yeah. you are correct so i wonder what i wonder what happens with that well so i have a little info on that but before but before i i get into it uh would, are we going into day or night i'm not sure if we need going to be in, i i just picked day day okay because that was a solid starting point yeah no i think you're you're right there um so the deal with the uh the streamers that that mixer had um given exclusivity contracts to the two biggest names were ninja and shroud um but there were several others i mean mixer really really uh uh threw some money at these guys and so basically it's working yes oh good okay. stuff really good stuff Okay, so can you remind me of this game? All I remember is this game has an awful drift system that I don't remember. Oh wait, maybe I do. Is it like you double? You can double hit, uh, accelerate. Oh my bad. Basically, like, basically you lift off the gas and uh, like kind of initiates a drift. But you can also change it so that it doesn't do that. Yeah. Which is how I have it. And this is not my drift car, so it's actually quite drifty. Yeah, I, yeah. Wow, it's all coming back to me now. I, uh, I really didn't have, I didn't remember like much about this game, but it's, uh, it's all coming back to me now. I remember there were like 
drift cars and how do we do the uh, okay there's the nitrous here uh any yeah, anyways <laughs> i i we could start this off with like a little car show like hey here's all here's all the cars that we've got yeah i mean you'd have way more than me but i have a lot of cars <laughs> yeah i'm sure i only have a handful <laughs> um but anyway so i have no idea where you went <laughs> <laughs> I don't either, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming back to the uh, the garage, but um, so so Mixer had exclusivity contracts with all these content creators, um, and as of like, and it's shutting down fast. Like as of July 22nd, there will be no more Mixer. Um, <laughs> and what they're doing is in maybe the desperation play of all desperation plays. They are trying to automatically like funnel any traffic that mixer had into facebook gaming which seems insane but sh but yeah. sure because <laughs> it also feels a little bit like you know i mean facebook is not microsoft like uh do you really want to yeah right push, push all those resources into what's kind of basically a competitor right well not only that who uses facebook gaming and, and it's a rhetorical question because the answer is no one. So, like, who, like, that is just a crazy move on all sides. But, um, but anyways, so long story short, it came out that Facebook apparently offered uh, both Ninja and Shroud an insane amount of money to stay exclusive to Facebook gaming. But uh, the way their contracts was written, um... Technically, they, they can be free agents, and it sounds like they both chose to be free agents, which in reality means they're most likely co both coming back to Twitch. Um, yeah. But, but I think it's... I mean, the it's, rumor was that Facebook Gaming offered both Ninja and Shroud twice what their original Mixer contracts were. And the rumors are Ninja's original Mixer... Con well... Let me start lowest to highest. Shroud's original mixer contract was 10 million and Ninja's was 30 million. Facebook allegedly doubled that. Jeez. And thankfully just... both of those guys are smart enough to be like, nah. <laughs> We're good. Boy, I don't know if I'd be smart enough to be like, nah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean at that point, like what's the what's the difference between if you're a 30 millionaire or a 60 millionaire? You still got more money than you know what to do with. So, I mean, I just I'm kind of amazed that these companies are willing to fork over that amount of money for like one or maybe two uh, streaming personalities. Yeah, yeah. I guess the I guess the value there is that not only do they have huge followings in general but their followings are also ridiculously engaged so like every hyper engaged follower is worth so much more than just a regular i mean you can buy followers on social media anybody can but those aren't like those don't help anybody but like ninja's followers are insane and shroud and shrouds are too so like they'll support anything that he promotes so i get it but it's uh but i agree with you that the dollar amount there is absolutely nuts. Also, I tried to follow you over that jump, and I totally face planted into the car. Oh no! Are you <laughs> following me? <laughs> I got lost on the way back to the garage, and I just started. Uh, hold on, I'll put a I'll put a waypoint. You, wait, that's why you didn't go back to the garage? Yeah, I just got, got lost. lost. You were literally right. Yeah, <laughs> I set a waypoint. <laughs> Whoops. Because because you you got you were like less than a block away and i was like okay I got these guys. and then you like just turned around and like gave up i was like oh man, yeah that's not uh, gonna do that <laughs> that's my bad oh thank you just my amg just my oh amg my says awesome car just my just my yams i <laughs> i uh I get these. Well, actually, I used to do this, and then I stopped for a long time. And then since quarantine, I started it up again. These, like, freshly, uh, this, like, meal delivery service. And it's the kind where... So I despise cooking. I, I learned uh, definitively over the past few months. Um, so 
I much prefer the meal delivery services that uh, deliver just like already like cooked meals. You just heat them up, and so that's what this one is. Uh -huh. And so I just got that, that sounds interesting. I mean, need to look into that. Yeah, I also hate cooking. Yes, yeah, it's bad. It's it's not fun times. Um, but hey, what's up, Shadow Light? How's it going? Um, but so they they change up the the meals there every once in a while and they just had one that's like it looks unbelievable it's it's some kind of like spiced pork chop and like sweet potato like mashed sweet potatoes and like it looked like unbelievable so i ordered that for next week very pumped about it and yams made me think of that that's the point of that whole story it wasn't a good story but i still told it <laughs> cool story bro. yeah pretty much <laughs> <laughs> But shot, free advertising for Freshly, though. Shout out. Yeah. Hashtag not sponsored. Yeah, hashtag not sponsored. Um, all right, so let's see what's... Uh, I'm in the garage here, and I completely forgot yeah. what kind of cars I... I only have five total, <laughs> so... Oh, I remember this I... bad boy, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm switching out to another car, I think. I'm... Well, gosh, I hope you'll recognize it. <laughs> we will see. I mean, I don't know if you remember the uh, the pink Barracuda. I'm pulling. Ooh, Barracuda. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky Girls here. What's up, Lucky Girls? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. NFS Heat. Yes. Yes. And we are successfully uh, cross-playing right now with um, Joel on the PS4 and myself on the xbox one s it's working relatively seamlessly we had one hiccup early but i think that was solely on my end i think i just had kind of a, a glitchy load initial load of the of the game but it seems to be working great now wait is this you joel yeah hold on let me let me get a good look at this <laughs> hey herbie <laughs> yeah. that's so awesome hold on let me try to get this camera all right, camera. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I am a big fan of Herbie. And in fact, I know a family that owns um, an incredibly realistic uh, Herbie replication. Yeah. That's uh, very cool. They usually bring it out to the auto sh or not auto shows. Um, Woodward Dream Cruise. Dream Cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one's got a Porsche engine. <laughs> oh, so that thing flies. Yeah, lots of fire. <laughs> <laughs> fire. <laughs> <laughs> so Lucky Gr Lucky Girl says, screw Microsoft, there's nothing wrong with Mixer and no reason whatsoever to change it to Facebook Gaming. Well, I mean, there is a large reason, but that reason is just the uh, money. <laughs> it's just not, uh, it's just not profitable for them. Um... <laughs> You know, this, this just uh, reminded me, and actually partly reminded because of, uh, I've been re-watching Chuck, the NBC kind of action comedy series. Yeah, oh yeah, on, like, I remember Chuck. <laughs> yeah, over a decade ago now. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it was funny seeing, because uh, that was also back when like NBC was doing some kind of awkward product placements in their shows. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I, re I remember some of those. <laughs> they'd show like some Windows computers and stuff, and every now and then they'd show like the, the using Bing to search yep, for stuff. Yup, classic. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh yeah, that was the thing. I'll never forget when Peter Parker himself in The Amazing Spider Man 2 just loaded up Bing.com and everybody was like, what <laughs> is this? I forgot. I forgot Bing lasted that long. I know. Is Bing even still a thing? Yeah, I think Bing is still a thing. Whoa! This guy just flew by me. Holy crap! I didn't even see him on screen for more than a second. Wow. Um, Lucky Girl says, "Now, when and if I ever stream, I'll have random pros in my." Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Was the mixer like community just like less pervy? You found is that 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 is unfortunate. But I, I would just say this, lucky girl. Just be lightning speed with the ban hammer. <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> zero tolerance. Like I, I really, I really believe that. Like a lot of people disagree with like the zero tolerance. Like, but like if anybody says anything crazy in here, I mean, you guys have all seen it. I insta ban people. Like, <laughs> people just got to be smarter. But. He's got, got an itchy hammer finger. For sure. Very itchy <laughs> hammer finger. For sure. Um, so you want to run some races here, Joel? Yeah, sure. Uh, um, let me... I'm actually... Actually, you know what? I think I... Whoa. And Lucky What's Girl just the... unlocked the Ferrari 488 Pista in Need for Speed Heat just last night. That's wild. Do you want to hop in and play, Lucky Girl? You're, you're more than welcome to uh, hop in our game. If there's slots open, that is. Hopefully there is. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know if we yeah. like restart the whole thing again. Yeah. Uh, and actually, so I assume your Barracuda is set up for like pavement racing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Eric. Yes. Sorry, you're uh, must have cut out again. But ah, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, yes it is. Yes it is. Okay. And also, I'm going to, uh, let me restart my headset. I, I suspect that maybe that's causing some of the issues. So you, you're going to lose me for 30 seconds here, but I'll be back. Okay. But you, you guys won't lose me, obviously. Just resetting the headset here. Um, Lucky Girl says, yes, the mixer was way less filled with people like that. That's extremely interesting. So here's a question for you, Lucky Girl. Why do you think that is? Did Mixer have, um, uh, did Mixer have like better tools potentially to guard against that stuff, or do you think it just so happened that just it it drew like a more inclusive crowd? What's your what's your theory there? That's that's really interesting to learn. Um. Ah, can't hop in right now at the moment. I do not have PS Plus. No problem, Lucky Girl. No problem at all. I just wanted to throw the offer out there. And yeah, I'm I'm good whenever you are, Jewel. Okay. Uh, I grabbed my Honda S2000. I think actually you will approve of the color. Oh. It's like a dark metallic purple. Oh yeah, I'm a big fan. Let's see what would be. There's a circuit race, that's probably the best way to go about it. With really weak AI. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I mean your call. I'm I'm probably gonna get spanked either way. So if you wanna okay. if you wanna do tougher AI, that's fine. Well, I have invited you to the race, so you just need to accept. Oh. Oh, beautiful. So it just pops up and you just hit RB to uh to start. Yeah. Easy as that. Starting in 38 seconds. Nice. Lucky Girl says that's actually one of the very few games I play on PS4. Nice. I I I'm, I'm going to assume that and probably like uh like Gran Turismo. Lucky Girl. Speaking of Gran Turismo, we haven't talked about the PlayStation conference. Uh, no, no, we haven't. Yeah, that only happened still relatively recently. Yeah, what? Well, that was just last. Was that wait? I think it was just last was week. Man, I, I've completely lost. Uh, said it been canceled, and I don't know why. Oh no, I'm in Are the you race. Sure I'm in the race. I'm racing. What? Ah. Yeah. Crap! I'm the one that started it. What the uh, heck? Well, that's unfortunate, and it's even more unfortunate because I'm I'm crushing right now in this race. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Where did it send you back to? A menu or back to like the overworld? I I've just been stuck in the free roam it never initiated an event or loading or anything oh weird that was weird yeah is it still showing me is in your party um, yes 
Whoa. So, I don't. Maybe I did something wrong. Uh, no, I mean I. I'm sure neither of us did anything wrong. It's just uh, oh, you know this what? happens sometimes. I wonder. I think we. Whoa. <laughs> what's your What's your I theory? I don't know if you heard that, but there's just like a crazy loud bang. I think someone just set off like an M80. Or I something. D I did hear that. My God, I thought, <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow, oh man, like, holy crap! Yeah, you got go investigate that if you need to. That's uh, <laughs> I think we're good. All right, I would I would for sure be investigating that. That was loud. Yeah. No, it's summer. Kids are bored. Yeah, true. Because <laughs> they were already bored months ago. True. <laughs> and and now fireworks. True. Are so. Now they're bored and it's nice. <laughs> yeah. So. And their explosives readily available. True. <laughs> <laughs> um. um. I think I actually know what may have happened. I think you may have started a race solo. <laughs> No, I th I could have sworn it said invite from you, and then I accepted that. Are you sure you didn't like accidentally press something else? I mean, I can never be a hundred percent sure I'm a moron, but I'm like ninety five percent sure. Um. Oh, what's up, Coven? Here, I'm I'm yeah, I'm about done with this. Are. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I got. Yeah, because I can't I can't invite you to something until you're done with your race. Weird. Oh, there goes another boom. Yeah. Boy, the other night I was driving up Mound Road and at the there was at a gas station like four fire trucks and an ambulance and a consumer's energy van and like I kind of think there may have been a gas leak. Oh wow! Yeah, that's that's scary. Also, I did so good in this race, I literally was about to lap people. So, go me. <laughs> um. Let's see here in the chats. Uh, Lucky Hero says, "Fun fact! I like fun facts." Lamborghini Huracan Performante is actually in that game for two hundred fifty thousand, and it doesn't cost twenty million like in Forza Horizon Four. Um. Oh my God, Joel. Yeah. Uh, you, first of all, that car looks amazing. Second of all, you are 100% right. For some reason, it's prompting me, <laughs> uh, with this flashback race. So, I'm just gonna stay here, where I'm not near any races, and I will wait for your invites. <laughs> right, I was like, I think I know what happened. Yeah. No, I think it's just because I was looking at you. I see the fl Okay, I see. So, there are two different there prompts. So, the, the, the party prompt is in the top right corner. Uh, normal prompts in the middle, so heads up if anybody's as dumb as I am. There's got to be at least one of you out there. <laughs> um, Lucky Girl says, dang, I got to see if I can get play PS Plus sometime soon. Also, hey, Coven. Coven says, shake my head, Eric's on his technical difficulties again. I know, I always am. It's like every day. Well, at least once a week, I would say. That's the rule. That is the rule. Um, yeah, I think the, uh, problem lies between chair and controller. <laughs> between, did you say between chair and controller? Yes. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, so PS5, PS5 announcement. We got kind of sidetracked there. Yes, yes. Um, first question for you. What do you think of the design? It's very divisive. I kind of dig it. I, I do too. I can see why some people don't, but I, I'm cool with it. I do too. I'm actually a huge fan. The only thing I'm not a fan of, and I don't know if you've seen this yet, is the size of this monster. It's gigantic. Oh, I, don't I, I don't think I've seen it like next to anything, so I don't really have a good frame of reference for the size. There is a photo of a man, presumably one of the engineers uh, who worked on it, holding it. And it's like the size of this man's torso. It is huge. <laughs> it, it, it's gigantic. So I'm a little, uh, that feels a little weird. Not sure how that's going to look in a lot of living rooms. But I love the design, though. Um, I think it's very... But I'm a sucker for that kind of like sci-fi looking stuff. That's just mm -hmm. very much my I, thing. I do like that 
something about it looks like like extra futuristic and not trying to like just be a kind of clean modern unintrusive like it's trying to be cool yeah yeah it took a, a risk i mean it's not yeah it's different it's different i mm -hmm. i like it but it's so, different in the way, like, it's, like, different, and but it shows, like, the colors of black and white, which are that are eternal. They'll never go out of style. Not in the way that, like, Nintendo made a purple GameCube. That <laughs> certainly was different, but that's not going to be timeless, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Weren't there even, like, orange ones? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure there were. I, I think the orange would probably be the hardest to keep that looking. Yeah. Uh, like, the purple so is, like... It's, it's a pale enough purple that it's not, like, too strong. <laughs> On the GameCube? Boy, though, I do miss colorful electronics. Yeah, you're not wrong. I used to love those, like, uh... And, I mean, looking back on them, in the modern day, this would be an awful design. But originally, I used to love those colorful, like, Apple iMacs. It got me, oh, man. I still love them. It got me. I, <laughs> that was such a cool design to me. Yeah, my family had one of the uh, blueberry ones. Nice. I think I bought one off Craigslist, like, briefly, um, but I didn't have it for very long. Mm. But. Yeah, so, overall, I think it looks alright. What do you think of the, uh, optical drive version versus the digital one? I mean, I think it's useless and unnecessary, and I wish they would have had the guts to not make one, but, but <laughs> I, uh, but... I mean, I get obviously I get it. Like, <laughs> you can't do that. The world isn't quite ready yet. But I just I just wish it was. But but I understand why. I think it's fine. I think I I'm te I would be tempted to get the all digital one, but I kind of think I would get the one with the uh, disc drive. I w so here's what's crazy is I had that exact same thought. I was like, man, I'd probably just get the disc drive one. But then I realized that. I own an Xbox One S with currently 185 games installed on the hard drive, and I have only ever bought two physical games for this console in its lifetime. So I'm like, why would I ever... But, that, but I understand that's me. I also understand a very popular argument, which I agree with. Not all of the world has good enough internet to be able to do that. I get it. I just wish that wasn't the case, <laughs> but I get it. Yeah. I get it. Well, I think the reason that I would be leaning toward getting the one with the disk drive is that um, I don't know. Just I can see myself somewhere like 10, 15 years out and being like, "Oh man, yeah, I I've never played that game. I wish I could." And like the store has been shut down, or the game was delisted, or yeah, all sorts of other things like that um and like the only way to get it anymore is to get it on a disc here would be my argument of why that still wouldn't work because you're still gonna need an update to play it which will not exist well <laughs> the update might not exist but you could probably still play offline with just whatever it was shipped with which might mean it might be a little bit buggy but you could still play it I, maybe. I think you have a lot more faith. I mean, people are literally shipping discs with, like, the game not even on them. Like, <laughs> it's like, already. I just feel like that. I hope that doesn't become more prevalent, but I fear that it will. Yeah. Um. Oh, do you want to do the, do you want to do the dirt race? Absolutely. I'm down to do whatever. Uh, Shadow Light says, it's like the console version of... What is this, Shadow Light? P E B C A K. What is that? Oh. <laughs> Problem exists between chair and keyboard. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um Oh sick, Coven yeah, Coven says uh he's gonna join later, but be right back right now. No problem, Coven. Cool. Yeah, because that was uh that was what I was trying to reference, but I couldn't remember the exact um acronym. Ah. <laughs> it's it's something that people in IT use. <laughs> yeah, it, it, classic. I'm trying to, like, I can't say that the person is an idiot, but I can say that there's an issue 
That's uh, PBC <laughs> Um, Are you currently switching cars, Joel? Uh, no, I'm not cruising around because I realized I can switch cars just before I initiate a race. Oh, can you? Well, then I'm going to switch cars real quick, if you don't mind. So I am, and I am um, currently trying to find a dirt race because it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, same. And I forget where things are. Uh, <laughs> Lucky Girl says, wait a sec, that's kind of a contradiction. I thought newer consoles are supposed to be as small as compact and possi as possible. Yeah, I mean, I will say this, though. I'm... I it's fu it's certainly funny. It's worth laughing at that it's so gigantic. But I'm I definitely strongly believe that if that's how you can get the mo like the most quality and most performance out of that machine, make it as big as you have to make it. Like I believe that in every single piece of tech, phones don't need to be getting smaller. They just need to be getting better. I and and same with con now. I will say that the PS5, from what I've seen, looks like it might be right on the line for me. <laughs> like, if it was any bigger, <laughs> I might be like, holy crap, let's uh, let's relax on this. But uh, for right now, I, I, think, uh, I think it's great. I think as long as it performs well, that's all that matters, at least to me. Yeah, I'm sure that it's probably that big to accommodate all the hardware and especially to make sure yeah. that there is sufficient cooling yes <laughs> and actually shadow light uh just said that and actually i think i'm uh keo i hope i'm saying that right what's up keo uh welcome welcome to the stream keo asks will there be a driver san francisco 2 well i'm not gonna lie to you keo i didn't know there was a driver san francisco 1 so i, I am not gonna hold my breath for a new driver game anytime soon <laughs> There you go. I, I, have, I have heard that Driver San Francisco is actually pretty good, but I don't think it's sold particularly well. And actually, I don't even know who has the rights to it right now. Um, I forget who published it. Yeah, I am not sure. So I, want, I want to say it was like THQ or something. And they oh, went under. Yeah. And, like the, and the naming rights went to another company and now they're THQ Nordic yep but I don't know if they had all the gaming rights and again I don't even remember if driver was a THQ game or not I genuinely can't remember <laughs> like it's been a while since I thought about the driver series yeah I did not I've wow. never played that one realize I've been screwing around at this intersection and there's a police car just sitting right here <laughs> <laughs> um Sh Shadow Light says, responding to Lucky Girl, yeah, you would think, but tiny electronics get super hot and need giant fans. Yep, that, yep, I already addressed that, my bad. And then Lucky Girl said, true. Uh, they're talking literally no load times, and those graphics look amazing. Indeed. I will say this. I'd bet pretty much anything I own that the no load times will last like a year max and then it'll slowly creep into super fast <laughs> load times <laughs> probably but, but like, as is the nature i, I mean that's not <laughs> yeah totally i just don't totally i don't mind load times i very much mind like load times in the minutes range like seconds is fine but minutes is insane looking at you gta 5 Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. And also load load times in games that are glitchy, and so you end up in like a long load screen. And you're like, did it crash? Ex it yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, should I restart? Should I wait it out? <laughs> um, is is this a dirt track? Yes. Oh, okay. We we already went over this, Eric. I asked, do you want to do a dirt? No, track? yeah. I, like, yes. Okay, come on. The first part wasn't dirt. I don't know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this I did not pick the right car for this apparently. Well, I looked back and I was like, "Wait, why do you have that car?" Ah, uh, cuz I'm dumb. It's the only that's the only answer really. Oh, don't spin out. That's okay. I'll pick a better one next time. And actually, I'm kind of thinking that I maybe should have taken my Beetle, which is set up for dirt racing. Ooh. Cuz I've, I've had mixed results with the uh, Colorado. The problem is that it's brutally, brutally slow. Are you still there, Eric? Actually, I, I'm. I'm, I'm here. Hello. Oh, okay. Yo. <laughs> hey. Yo. Um. Yeah. What was the last thing you heard me say? The. I heard all of it. 
Uh, yeah, I was, I was just, I was, I was listening, talking about you're gonna use the beetle, oh. and then you. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I've had mixed results with this Chevy. Uh, it's brutally, brutally slow when you first get it, so I finally did an engine swap on it, and uh, it's still not the best. Yeah. Yeah, this is a uh, this, this is a bummer because it looks really cool. Yeah, this was a poor choice on on my part here. <laughs> It's really not, like, it's not too bad to handle. It's just not very fast. Right. Good grief. <laughs> Dude, it's, uh, <laughs> it's... Oh, man. It sounds like someone's, like, banging on a pot, like, right next to you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's louder than that, actually, here. <laughs> oh, man. Slowly remembering this, uh, this drifting mechanic here yeah um shadow light says also i think new consoles will use ssd instead of spinning drives which helps a lot yeah so that's confirmed both on both sides uh mm -hmm. the the controversy there and i don't i mean i don't know how much of a controversy but uh so xbox series x claims to be housing a one terabyte ssd hard drive well SSD solid state drive and uh, and the PlayStation 5 claims to be housing an 875 gigabyte solid state hard drive and the annoyance is a what now? why yeah why not a terabyte like why <laughs> how do you wait how do you even get to that size who so that's, that's not that's not the normal like progression of like 32 right or 128 like it's right and so the initial th well the initial <laughs> thought i had the initial thought i had was maybe like uh, maybe sp they are counting it by subtracting the space it needs to hold the operating system but no operating system in history needs 125 gigs or even close to it so yeah. so i uh, I, I don't know. Maybe yeah, that would have that would have been my first guess too. Like, is there just so much stuff on it already? Yeah. Like, listen, we can't. But that's can't a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's like, are you including movies on it or something? Yeah. Like, what's what's taking up all this space? Yeah. So that's a weird one. But here's the here's the uh, no pun intended the X factor that no one is talking about. That again, I am so sure it is gonna happen. So the Xbox Series X, this is a, this is a conspiracy theory from me. This is not so just so everybody knows this is not like factual information. But the Xbox Series Eric X is crazy. <laughs> no, I'm just I just don't want anybody to hear this and be like, oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, the Xbox Series X is for sure going to be the high end offering for Xbox. There will be a Series X S. Sorry, Series S that will that the majority of people will get. That is my theory. They have not talked about this Series S yet. I'm sure it will exist. I'm sure that's what it will be called. And I'm sure that that will be the actual competitor to the PS5. Uh, the Series X, I believe, will be a high-end offering, much like the One X. Um, and I think the majority of people are not going to get the series x also both consoles are coming in at 600 dollars. people prepare yourselves that's uh that's my <laughs> other that's my other uh conspiracy theory again not a, nothing official there that's not real information but in my mind that's real information because that is for sure happening they'll come down later I, but I don't know. I'm, I'm giving it a 50 50 shot of a price like that because okay on the one hand yes it's going to be really high power and probably kind of pricey but at the same time boy I can't, I just can't imagine, um, Sony doing a crazy high price ever again, ever since the, ever since yeah. the PlayStation 3, like, they got burned with that price point. <laughs> well, here's my, th this it is, ugly. <laughs> this is how I, I see everything playing out. Also, let me catch up on the chat here. The lucky girl's laughing at me because I'm an idiot. Why are you dirt racing a street racing car? Because I'm dumb. Uh, uh, Shadow Light. Yeah, is asking. Yeah, is that usable swords versus total swords? Yeah, I don't. When I when this 
quote, uh, controversy started that wasn't made clear yet, and I have not bothered to look to see if they clarified. Um, so, so I'm not sure. Um, Shadowlight says, lucky girl, both will have internal SSD. Right, yeah, 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 Bo both 100% confirmed. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is confirmed. Both will have SSD, uh, like, by default. Like, you will not be able to get a, uh... A normal HD hard drive in these uh, SSD only, which is good. Uh, ev everything should be SSD only. Um, and, and and yeah, Shadowlight. Yeah, uh, PS confirmed the disc drive and no disc drive. Uh, Xbox has not confirmed that because, again, my conspiracy theory is because Xbox has at least two, perhaps three other consoles that they are still going to uh, show off. And so my prediction of how things are going to work is <laughs> PlayStation is not revealing the price yet. Obviously, they're in a uh, game of chicken with uh, Microsoft. Neither one of them wants to reveal the, the, <laughs> the price first. Here's what I mm -hmm. think is going to happen. Microsoft is going to price the Xbox Series X at $600 or potentially more. And they are not going to make clear, because they are dumb, that that is going to be the highest end offering. Uh, Sony is going to see this, and they're going to say... Okay, Microsoft came in at 600, we're coming in at 600, we're doing it. This is just how it's going to be. They're going to come in at 600. I'm going to guess the next day or within the next week, Xbox will then come out and say, oh yeah, by the way, here's the Xbox Series S and it's $400. That's how, that's how I think it's going to go down. We'll see. Mm -hmm. But I just that just seems so corporate, like that's just such corporate shenanigans that it just seems like that's exactly how it would go down. <laughs> I don't know. I think I don't think the company's quite nimble enough to like just hide away an entire SKU uh, before reveal and be like, "Oh yeah, there's also this cheap one." I I can see Apple being capable of that. I don't see Microsoft being capable of that. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, I don't know. I do. I mean, I think it, it would be insane if they just had the one. Um the the one series x even if it was like at the very least like shadow light said you would think they would have an optical and non-optical version and that hasn't leaked yet so you never know yeah well i mean i guess i could see like on i guess i could see like a new even higher power xbox one but I don't think there's going to be a lower trim Xbox Series X yet. Interesting. Uh, oh, interest. Okay. Huh. Because they said because they said they're not phasing out Xbox One. Yeah, but but like then Xbox I guess Xbox One is going to stick around. I guess in that case, what would be the difference between a higher powered Xbox One and a lower powered Series X? Because they, as of right now, there are going to be no Series exclusives. Um, everything's going to be playable on all Xbox machines. That's true. Gosh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Which also, that's, that seems like a that seems like a weird strategy for Xbox. Oh, Garrett, I, for sure. I agree. Super dumb. I mean, I think I see where they're coming from, but the problem is games sell machines. Like, that's what's like... Yeah? They're going to be rolling out this hardware, and it's like, well, I don't need to buy it because I can still play all my games. And, like, the people that actually care about going, like, high-end graphics and stuff buy PCs. <laughs> right, right. I guess the, uh... <sighs> I mean, I was just gonna try to, like, justify what the target demographic would be. But, like, any target demographic I could come up with would be so small that it still doesn't make sense for them to do. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I agree. Like, that's a, I thought that was a crazy announcement from day one. Um... Oh, so we got some more. So we got some more theories here. Um, Shadowlight says I can't see Microsoft having any more than two versions, optical and non-optical ver. I mean, wait, Shadowlight, why? They currently have more than two versions. Like, what do you, what do you mean? They have the Xbox One, One S, and One X, and and the digital One S. So that so I don't I don't know about that one, Shadowlight. 
Um, By the way, I keep trying to start a race, but you keep ignoring. I am me. so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> please send me another invite. I, it's just so it's kind of like did. so non-obtrusive. Oh, then I guess I'm not <laughs> seeing it. Are we still in the same? Or maybe maybe you already declined it. I don't know. It's about to end. I'll try again. Okay. Sorry about that. Um. Let's see. Lucky Girl says, so PS5 party. will not use discs? Just to, No, so there's going to be... So they've already announced two officially, 100% official. I got this one, Joel. Um, okay. Two versions of the PS5. So far, they're identical in every way to each other, except one of them has a disc drive and one of them does not. But those exist... Like, those are real. Like, they announced those at the, at the unveiling. And the one with the disc drive looks like it has a tuba. <laughs> yes, it does. It does. I don't think it looks too bad, but it no, definitely. I, I don't either, but it does look a little odd. Yeah, for like, sure. Wait, what's that thing? For sure. That's not a tuba. <laughs> it's not a tuba. <laughs> um. But speaking of game selling machines. Y yes. Basically, I have every intention of buying a ps5 as soon as it comes out <laughs> oh my god i just picked possibly an even worse like, car for this by the way no <laughs> um but yeah okay cool very cool i i was i was watching the conference and like the like i was the gran turismo reveal i have not been so excited about a game reveal in so long just like like genuine excitement like no worries about oh, how are they gonna screw this up or like i don't think this is gonna turn out all that well it's like oh my gosh this is looking exactly like the grand turismo i've been waiting for since like gt4 dang so i'm not gonna lie to you joel i have not seen the uh grand turismo announcement please I, a story about it. I i just i haven't i knew it happened but i just haven't i think it is just one of those things i like planned on watching it and then i just never did but, uh, but, but pl please, uh, what is, what is so exciting about it? Basically, like, they're going back, because GT Sport was such a big departure from, like, traditional Gran Turismo, mm -hmm. since they kind of gave up on having an actual, like, main campaign, and the car list was way smaller. Uh, it was, it was all focused on online multiplayer and stuff, which was fine. It did it pretty well. And they actually brought back a whole bunch of features and things from older ones because people were kind of like, this is a little bit thin. And to their credit, all the stuff that they brought, it was all free, um, except for oh, like, wow. this Lewis Hamilton challenge pack. Okay. Uh, so I've, I mean, I've been playing GT Sport probably like every other day, basically since launch. Uh, wow, nice. <laughs> but... Um, but this one, like, it's basically all going to be there from the start. It's going to have a big fleshed out campaign with lots of different events and lots of different challenges and loads of cars and actually, like, buying parts to upgrade them as opposed to just, like, unlocking additional power settings and stuff with XP. Like, you actually have to earn credits and buy stuff. And, oh, yeah. I didn't uh, realize they had ever gotten rid of that. I mean, I feel like that's, like, classic Gran Turismo. Yeah. That's it awesome. Is, and it all, it all went away with GT Sport. Wow. It looks like this will be a full-fledged, back to, back to traditional Gran Turismo, and I'm just so excited. And, like, in the trailer, it shows sort of the home screen from the campaign, and it looks just like the one in Gran Turismo 4, where it's, like, a big map with, like, your home garage in the center and, like, different dealerships and things and... I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so, so excited. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Now, there's no release date, which scares me a little uh -oh. bit. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like 2022. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Cause you would think cause they'd I have that remember. ready at least close to launch. I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad, because GT Sport is the only Gran Turismo that came out on the S4. So I'm hoping that, like, besides maintaining servers and kind of doing updates and stuff, they've just been working on GT7 in the background. Yeah. And so hopefully it won't take too long. But I'm super, super excited. And that's kind of, I mean, even though it may not come out for 
<laughs> another couple of years because and don't get me wrong I I want game developers to take the time that they need to get it right um, as opposed to rushing something out the door yeah but but Felicity Digital has a really bad habit of taking a ridiculous way too long of time to get stuff done yeah well in the um, whenever I, I I feel the same I mean obviously I want all all the all the good games now but <laughs> I I always think back to the uh the immortal words of the extremely wise uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. Uh, he said he has a quote that is like, "A delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game yeah. will always be bad." And yeah. I agree with that. But now there's patches. True, <laughs> true. <laughs> but I think I even with that, I think the sentiment is like it will always be perceived as bad because even a game yeah, like. Yeah. Um, Oh god, what is that space game? That like every that it was like so hyped and then it came out and it sucked. Like everybody hated it. Oh, um oh. No Man's oh, Sky, No Man's Sky. Yes, yes. 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 It, but uh, apparently, like by all accounts, that game's amazing now. But Yeah. But in my mind, I'm still like, yeah, but it probably sucks though. But it probably doesn't in reality. But just <laughs> because of like the it still like lives like that in in my brain and i'm sure many others well and even like battlefront 2 well, yeah yes like they got, they yeah fixed, they fixed the microtransaction yeah they brought out loads and loads of free dlc yep but it's always going to be remembered as yeah it just has the that time ea went too far yeah <laughs> no it just has that like uh, I, I don't even know i can't think of the right word but it it's got some rust on it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah oh man, the chat's cruising. Sorry guys, I'm I'm focused on this race. Oh. I'm 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 missing you guys. I'll I'll catch up here uh, in a second. Oh, you're still in the race. <laughs> oh, you're still in the race. Listen to this guy. <laughs> I know. I saw you finish like an hour ago. <laughs> I'm ready to start another one. Oh man! I changed cars. Oh my god! Yeah, I need to. Uh, I definitely need to. Uh... Yeah. So Shadowlight says, Eric. To be clear about this drive, you mean optical? Yes, that's what I mean. Um. Uh, I mean, are those two words not used interchangeably? Am I like using that incorrectly? I feel like that it's an optical disc drive, right? Um, yeah, I, I think sometimes people will, will cuz sometimes instead of saying hard drive someone will say hard disk. Like hard disk drive. Ah, uh, interesting. Actually, that that's what HDD is. Yeah. Hard disk drive. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, I, I am so, that makes sense. I am referring to the to the optical disk drive though. Um, and that's and I think that's also partly why I try to say optical drive as opposed to disk drive cuz it's like, well, technically a hard drive has a disc and it is it's and so technically it's a disc drive but yeah no that no that makes i didn't i didn't never even thought of that so that does that totally makes sense um mm -hmm. uh so thanks both of you guys uh learned something new today uh sh most of your people buy b physical games or want to play like HD Blu-ray. That's a good point too that I that I discounted people who use it as a Blu-ray player. But once again, I can't even tell you the last time I didn't just buy a movie digitally. But a lot of people don't, so I get it. Um, I will I will admit one movie that I really think I might go and buy the Blu-ray of is um, oh darn it, uh, Mad Max Fury Road because that game is just so unbelievably gorgeous. Ah, you mean the, the, the movie? movie? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. I, yeah. Like, wait, I hear the game isn't bad either, though. I've never played it. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard it's solid. I haven't played it either. Um, all right, so let's... But yeah, the movie The movie is amazingly gorgeous, and, like, that's something that I would be willing to buy a Blu-ray for because it's just so nice. Yeah. Yeah, like, per, like faves of all time and stuff like that, I, I totally get it. It's just... I'm just not I'm just not that guy. I just prefer having yeah. like nothing. But I totally get it. Uh mm. Alright, I think I'm gonna go back to the I'm gonna go to the alpha here. 
Um, all right, so let me catch up here. Lucky Girl says, again, you took a... Re <laughs> I know, Lucky Girl, I'm dumb. Um, uh, rally but yeah, yeah, so confirm it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, uh, I, I was misspeaking. Um, Lucky Girl says, this probably will not happen, but it would be nice if PS5 would play PS1, PS2. P so that is actually the biggest thing that, that annoys me with, uh, with... It will have some kind of backwards compatibility they just haven't said how broad it's gonna be yeah but i mean if it was gonna be broad they would have said so <laughs> in my in well, my opinion they said, it, they said it was gonna be like a few hundred games to start with yeah i think continue adding so here's here's my here's my main like bugaboo with with this announcement is this announcement is exactly the announcement that xbox made last generation because everybody um, I think they originally announced just straight up, like, no backwards compatibility, and everybody lost their minds. Rightfully so, in my opinion. Um, I'm about to throw my laptop out the window. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> um, so, and everybody lost their minds, rightfully so. And so then, what Microsoft did is, over years and years and years, basically, their solution to running Xbox and Xbox 360 games on the Xbox One is they are sepu they're separately emulating each game individually on that system. The reason for that is because an Xbox One wasn't built to just natively play Xbox 360 games. Um, mm. and, and, like, that's fine. Like, I, I get that. That's fine. Um, so, essentially, what I've seen of Sony's current announcement is it's that same thing. They said, yeah, this system, this machine, the PS5, was not built to natively play PlayStation 4 games. But what they are planning on doing is they're planning on doing what uh, Microsoft has done this previous generation and basically manually emulating these games, making them playable uh, individually, game by game, on the system. Now, if they actually do it, great but i was skeptical of xbox at the time they came through but i am similarly skeptical of sony here that's all that's all my i just that's a big undertaking man and like people like a lot of people didn't think xbox were gonna do it and i'm shocked at uh at, at how well they actually did it like they they really did stick to it for years and years and years um mm -hmm. i hope sony does the, yeah, does the same and if they do I'll be ecstatic. Yeah. Well, it went a long way to kind of rehabbing the Xbox One uh, image. Yeah, it absolutely did. I mean, yeah, that launch was a disaster for Microsoft. Um, but I think, ultimately, it was the best thing that could have happened for the brand as a whole because they learned from those mistakes. <laughs> so, um... Well, and so I, I hope Sony is, like, is looking at Microsoft and is like, oh, wow, backwards compatibility really works for guys like we should try and make sure yeah we do it right too. totally totally I, I hope so too um um oh Al, i i missed uh we got alex booze uh what's up alex it says can can i join yes definitely uh, we'll we'll get you in after this race or we'll try to if if there's enough people if there's enough spaces available in our uh Overworld. We've been having some issues with that today, uh, but but we'll certainly try. Uh, Shadow Light says NMS was awful at launch, but it's really good now. What is NMS? Um, NMS. Let's see. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um. Oh, I missed the start. Crap! I was looking at the chat. All right, hold on. <laughs> hopefully hopefully I picked a, a car that isn't gonna be useless this time it's maybe my best one yeah I picked the pavement race I think it'll be fine okay cool man that start really screwed me that's unfortunate What's unfortunate? That I was looking at the chat when we started, and I didn't, uh... I, oh. <laughs> I didn't get a good start. Um, man, that's so... 
That's so funny, because Shadow Light says, when you say it won't have a disk drive, it sounds like hard drive. I have never in my entire life until today heard anyone refer to a hard drive as a disk drive. I've certainly heard hard disk drive. But, I, but yeah, I've, I've never heard anyone refer to a hard drive as a disk drive. But I'll uh, stop doing that, I guess. Some people clearly do. Eric is crazy. <laughs> is that, have you heard, like, is that common? That can't, it, at the very least, it can't be common. I don't know if I'd call it common, but it is a thing. Yeah, no, I got you. I'll, uh, I'll stop uh, doing it for that reason. But in my defense, <laughs> I've never heard that before. Oh, so I was, I was going to say, um, other than uh, Gran Turismo, one of the other things that I'm super stoked about yeah. for PlayStation 5 is a new Ratchet & Clank game. Yep, that looked, uh, that looked very cool from what I, what I saw of it. I'm just so excited for that, because, I mean, there was the, like, Ratchet & Clank sort of remaster movie tie-in game that was good. And it was fun to like play through some of the original Ratchet and Clank levels, completely redone in high definition. Yeah. Um, but it didn't feel as I didn't like it as much as the original. Yeah, it didn't scratch um, the itch. No, and the story was like the original, but tweaked. So I'm excited that this one is going back to like the original. Uh, canon and timeline oh nice i didn't realize that and i'm just i'm excited for a new full-length ratchet and clank story and game yeah that is uh i never played a ratchet and clank game but i'm a, I'm a huge fan of that kind of like 3d platformer type of game and, and i know <laughs> i would love um i know i would love them if if i played them um, and, yeah, and, and maybe I will if, if and when I end up with a PlayStation one day. But yeah, um, yeah, I, I I adore those games. They're so much fun. <laughs> yeah, no, for for me that's like a and another announcement. This is not PlayStation exclusive, but they also announced uh, Crash Bandicoot Four coming out soon. Yeah, I saw that. I. I mean, I always kind of wondered if they would like finally do something like that because. Um, the remaster. Yeah, the yeah. Well. And, but I was still kind of surprised, like, oh, wow, they're really actually going to do this. Yeah, it looks cool, too. It looks cool. I uh, I am personally holding out hope for the uh, for a new Spyro game, though. I, I was oh, never... Uh, I, I'm in exactly the same boat. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm actually not a Crash Bandicoot fan. Same, yeah. <laughs> but I love Spyro. <laughs> Absolutely love Spyro. Yeah. All right, so let me get all the way caught up on the comments here. Um... I've heard that the Shadow Light says I've heard that the black and white MMFR looks really good. I'm not sure what that is either. Um, I heard your dog. <laughs> dog is trying to get my oh. attention. Hero X, what's up? Says, do you like this game? Uh, but they said that a while ago, so they might not be here anymore. But eh, it, I, this game's okay. Um, I probably, <laughs> honestly, I probably wouldn't buy it today if that's what you're asking. Um. Uh, if, if I hadn't played it, I would still I would still pick up NFS Heat. I enjoy it. Yeah. Well, there you go. It's just that I finished the, I I finished the story on it like months ago, and so I haven't had a whole lot of reason to come back to it. Yeah. Because I, I I'm not a big I'm not huge on the online multiplayer for this game because in part because the drive mechanics are just a little bit wonky. Uh, yeah, that that's my but main. For solo, I really enjoy it. That's my main thing. Um, Alex, I'm trying to get you in. By the way. Uh, oh right. Do I need to invite him to the party? Um, I don't. I don't think so. We will. We'll see here. Yeah. What's his screen name? So it is. Hold on. Invite to a game. Good stuff. All right, sent you the invite there, Alex. Um, all right, so hopefully we'll be good there. Um, 
Oh, No Man's Sky is an NMS. That makes sense. Oh, um, yeah. Sh Shadow Light. We're, we're stupid. <laughs> well, you know what happens. Um, Shadow Light says, Sony was leaning into the maximum graphics in the new gen. Uh, Microsoft is claiming great next-gen graphics. And I, I see what you're saying. So Microsoft is like, great next-gen graphics and backwards compatibility. And Sony is leaning into maximum graphics. Which, uh... Which makes sense. I would say both of them are pretty heavily leaning into uh, maximum graphics, though. I mean, both of them want everyone to think that they're going to have the best graphics in the world. And the reality is, both of them probably will. Um, <laughs> they'll probably be well, almost uh, unable to tell the, the difference. Specs, yeah, aren't the specs for both of them, like, pretty close? Yeah, they're nearly identical. Um, and it's also one of those things where, like, it all comes down to however you can optimize the, so the hard the software and hardware and stuff i mean yes there's a re there's a reason first party games usually look so much better than third party games because indeed shout out they nintendo can take advantage yeah they can take advantage <laughs> of every little trick and loophole in the hardware yes that is for sure so did we get um can you see who is in our party here alex is not in our party yet alex also says why is your cat just vibing going crazy in the background <laughs> that is a dog that's hilarious though uh lolo here uh what's up um rally bob says ssd stands stands for solid state solid state uh oh s s d d i've never seen s d d solid state disk drive Oh, oh, that's a no, come on, come on. That's, that's, that's not a thing. That's not a thing. I see. That's a that's a that's a little joke. Um, Lolo says, "How much money do you have on heat?" Not much. I think like a quarter mil. Um, it does not look like he is in our party, and I do not know. It doesn't look like it's letting me add anybody. Well, we oh, Alex so we says, "Wait a sec, like I got cross platform blocked." I don't. What does that mean, Alex? Um, then Lolo says. Uh, Series X and PS5 are exactly the same, but Xbox has a little faster GPU, a bit more storage, and a bit faster SSD. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm skeptical of that actually. As the Xbox guy, I'm, I'm skeptical of that. Uh, if I mean, I mean I'm not skeptical that's like... true, but I'm skeptical that it's that one-sided. Then, then what? Did, what does PlayStation have? It wouldn't be that one-sided. Is all is all I'm saying. PlayStation must have some benefits on the other otherwise yeah it's called we're gonna we're gonna launch at a hundred dollars less than Xbox. yeah no that could very well be it that could very well be it and honestly more power to him i hope that is it whoops i'm trying not to dox anybody hold on I'm trying to send a uh <laughs> <laughs> boy that is, the uh, stream just took a very different tone <laughs> no i i'm j i've been trying to hide my um my uh screen when i invite people because people's like real names are on their gamer tags now which is which seems uh. crazy uh but so like when i pull up that menu i um you know just try not to dox anybody uh, right oh the session is full that sucks alec we'll keep I'll, I'll keep checking in and uh if i notice it drops below 16 if if you hang around anyway um then I'll, uh, I'll I'll shoot you another invite. But uh, sorry about that, man. Um, Lucky Girl says, "Gotta say, Microsoft has definitely been proving themselves lately uh, with with graphics. Forza graphics are pretty amazing. Yeah, they are. They are really good, particularly on a One X or a PC for sure." Um, Ch -ch 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 Shadow Light. Says, I think o owners of whatever console will be happy with the new one. Completely agree. For new buyers trying to decide, it will come down to games, not hardware. Um, uh, agree with that? Well, I somewhat, I mostly agree with that. But I do think, like, PlayStation clearly has the better game selection. But I'm still, I don't know. Like, I just don't. I don't know. I, I just like I just like Xbox's menu system more. I, I just mean, like, uh, and, and I've already gone so long without um, playing. Like, yeah, The Last of Us is amazing. I get it. I, I'm over it by now. 
Um, the only game that I really, 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 really feel like I really missed out on was Spider-Man. And that's only because I'm an embarrassingly large Spider-Man fan. Um, Spoderman. <laughs> Spoderman. Um, and also, sorry I missed your last invite, Joel. I am, uh... I am good. <laughs> Cyanide, call me the number one doxer on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, not certainly not intentionally. Um, let's see here. Lolo says, "Oh yeah, controller shape. That's another big one too. I do not like PlayStation controllers. Do not like them." So, here's the thing, though. I don't think you've ever held a PS4 controller. You're right. You're right. I haven't. I've held a PS3 controller, for sure, but that's probably the and, last one I've held. And I have, like, I was actually just recently playing Motorstorm a little bit on my PS3, and, wow, yeah, the, the old DualShock 3, like, I mean, I was fine with it because that was kind of all I really knew. For right, yeah, yeah. But, uh, the PS4 controller is so vastly superior. Okay. And it is actually my my favorite gaming controller right now. Wow. I got so this might strike you as crazy, but my favorite gaming controller of all time, believe it or not, is the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. That controller okay. to me is like pretty much the best of all worlds. Um with the large exception potentially, especially for this chat, uh, racing games, it does not have um analog triggers. Um, uh -huh. so it does have yeah, only button triggers, but... Why, uh, why can't Nintendo figure that out? It's like, analog triggers are amazing. <laughs> I guess for the games I play on Nintendo, they were, I don't know if I'd want them. Because I play mostly, like, like platformers and stuff. Well, I mean... I, I mean, I don't play... Games, so no, I, I, no, totally. So like, but you wouldn't buy a Nintendo <laughs> Switch to play racing games. <laughs> Most people would I mean, maybe wouldn't. if they had some. <laughs> yeah, touche. Ch chicken or the egg, I guess. But, yeah. um, but uh, hey, I'm finally not in last place. By the way, that's exciting nice. for me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, picked, I picked one of the, I picked one of the slightly lower uh, difficulty opponents. <laughs> yes, thank you. I, I I just don't have. This is literally my best car, so I just never got far enough in the game. I never beat this game, um, so I just never got far enough to get good cars. I think that's my excuse today. What will my excuse be next week? Cars. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Get good. Um, I'm uh, so I'm gonna be playing, and this is, might be news to everybody watching. So, uh, I'm gonna be playing the Xbox version of Assetto Corsa Competizione on Thursday. See. I am 99% sure that game's going to make me scream and yell and want to break things. But I'm, I'm excited to try it. I'm excited to try it. Eric has no patience for simulation games. True, true. <laughs> this is true. Um, but this, but I don't know. There's something about this one. It's not, in its marketing, it's not trying to come off as like, this is the most intense racing experience you'll ever have in your life. Which is like how I feel like some of the other ones come off. So because of that, I'm coming into it with a lot more of an open mind. And also, it's only 40 bucks, which I greatly appreciate. Um, so I'm trying to come into it with a little more of an open mind. But not my, not my kind of game. But I think what my strategy might be, and tell me if you think this, is, uh, this might be a, a good strategy, is just literally max out pretty much every assist... And just try to play it like an arcade game. <laughs> Do you... I don't know. I, I think the first half I agree with. The second half maybe not so much. Oh, half. <laughs> so what's the difference? What happens at the halfway point? Or you just think well, yeah, I I won't be able to be good enough with the assists on? No, I mean like you should have all the assists on, but also still kind of try and drive it like a. Simple ah, gotcha, like an gotcha, that's, gotcha, that's gotcha, that's gotcha, what I mean. gotcha. <laughs> All right. Well, we will. Because, uh... because the assists will only get you so far. <laughs> uh. True. Very true. Um. Oh my God. Chad is buzzing. All right. Here we go. Um. Lolo says I would play, but it's midnight for me. All good. Uh. Alex says you know you can just leave lobby with party and then invite everyone who wants to 
an invite. Yes, but... <laughs> uh, I just got a trophy. So did I. You have friends? <laughs> yes, um, the reason, the only reason we don't do that, Alex, is because one, if we did that for every time somebody requested that, that would be the whole stream. Um, and two, uh, because J Joel on the line here is playing on a PS4, so it's already kind of wonky here. Um, so, I, yeah, so I'm, I'm sorry. I know we could do that, but it's just, it's kind of a slippery slope to start doing that. Um... Lucky Girl says, I gotta say I went with PlayStation for a while, but once I switched to Xbox, I realized that Xbox One is almost the same as PS4, except for with Forza and slightly longer load startup times. Yeah, I mean, even the current one, like, here, like, the secret is, they've always been pretty much the same. <laughs> like, and they'll always be pretty much the same. So, like, that's, uh, that's just how, that's, they don't think it be like it is, but it do, is my point. Um... <laughs> Lolo says, Alex hates the PS4 controller. Lolo says, I don't mind the joystick placement on PlayStation, but I don't like the triggers. They are weird. Um, Shadow Light says, I still think that even if the hardware is nicer, if you want to play some console exclusive games like Forza, your choice is made for you. Yeah, I do, I do agree with that. I do agree with that. Um, Cyanide says, I'm a fan of the Xbox 360 controller for PC, though. Uh, yeah, agreed. I, I, uh, and the 360 and or Xbox One, they're pretty similar in, in my view uh almost yeah, identical I, yeah um alex says I, I think i i think i do prefer xbox one just because it has the uh haptic feedback triggers which are true awesome. true 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 <laughs> um let's see uh lolo says nintendo games are also overpriced strong disagree nintendo remakes are overpriced nintendo games are appropriately priced i would argue <laughs> um i mean it's just 60 dollars. like why would you not pay 60 dollars if arguably breath of the wild is underpriced uh because that game's an absolute masterpiece peace potentially the greatest game of all time um, Lolo says, you should try Project Cars 2. <laughs> so, Lolo, I have tried Project Cars 2. I rage quit about an hour in and uninstalled immediately. I, it's just not. <sighs> this man has no patience. <laughs> I, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just, that's not how, that's not my preferred video game experience. I know it's a lot of people's and that's fine. It's just not mine. Patrick's here. What's up, Patrick? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Um, Patrick says, EA Sports bought Continue, bought Nintendo, if I could speak. Uh, if that truly happened, Patrick, I, I mean, I would end the stream right now and reevaluate my life. Uh, that would never happen in a million years. Um, <laughs> Alex, that would be crazy, though. Alex says, I'm, I'm just imagining Super Mario Odyssey 2020 with, with new reskins. Jesus! No, no thanks. Um... <laughs> Uh, so Lolo says, I mean, okay, so here's interesting. L I want to address this. Lolo says, I mean, like, Minecraft is like $50 on Nintendo. All right, Nintendo had literally nothing to do with setting that price. Nintendo does not choose how expensive games are on their platform. Uh, so just FYI, if anybody didn't know that. Uh, if, it, and also funny to show that it also goes to support your argument that remakes are really are too expensive. <laughs> yes, agreed. And also, just kind of a funny... Uh, additional layer here, uh, the person who did set that price is Microsoft, because they own Minecraft now, so make of that what you will. Um, Alex says, how dare you, NFS Most Wanted 2005 is the best game ever. Well, I, come on, Alex. <laughs> come on, it's a very good game, I'm sure. But best game ever. Uh, Lolo says... Wait. Did anybody say anything bad about Need for Speed Most Wanted? No, I think it's because I said I, I said Breath of the Wild is the best game ever. Um, uh, and then Lolo, I I would man. Um, oh, that is you. All right, I'm accepting this. Uh, maybe this is like some like bias on my part, but tell me if if you agree or disagree. I don't think I would ever be able to call any racing game the greatest video game of all time. I just don't think a racing game could take that mantle. Because anything that got close would be like a GTA. Like, GTA is a kind of, sort of, ish racing game, but it's so much more, which is what makes it, like, 
that next level of like greatness, I would say. Thoughts? Yeah, I think I, I no, I think I mostly agree with you. I mean, like I, I totally get somebody having a racing game as their absolute. Oh yeah, game of all time. for sure. But I think if you're evaluating games on a more objective level, I think it, if I think it would be hard to make a case that uh, any particular racing game is the greatest of all time. Yeah, and, and let me I clarify too: uh, Breath of the Wild is not my favorite game. I just think it's a masterpiece work of art. But it's not. But like I have. In fact, several games that I like a lot more. But anyways, continue. Sorry. Yeah, I think like I think like games that I think would come closest to sort of being considered like best, or like the, the best chance of being considered best, would maybe be like Gran Turismo 4 on PS2, because that was a truly incredible Gran Turismo game. The visuals were amazing. The, the amount of content was just like. I, I've never finished it. I never will be able to finish it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, uh, like, that was an amazing game. I'd say maybe, like, maybe Forza Motorsport 4. Okay. On, um, because it, it, it was basically sort of like, what, it's sort of like how GT4 was to Grand Turismo on PlayStation. I feel like Forza 4 probably was to Xbox and Forza. Um, say maybe burnout paradise or possibly like burnout revenge um those are both like extremely highly regarded arcade racing games um i'd say crazy taxi just kidding I mean, I know but 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 that game is uh is like, is a classic but i would never call it greatest game of all time <laughs> But I, I would I would argue that that game uh, probably birthed a a an enjoyment of racing games for like a a lot of people. Um, because back in the day, Crazy Taxi was like for for like my generation of like I didn't really go to like arcades, but like Dave and Buster's and stuff. It was always Crazy Taxi, always. Mm -hmm. Um. And then the day Crazy Taxi came out for like PlayStation, every single one of my friends got Crazy Taxi. But but this is uh that's not even what we're talking about right now. <laughs> I just started talking about Crazy Taxi. But <laughs> Well and maybe maybe even like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like, yeah, that's, it's very polished. The best Mario Kart game ever. Agreed completely. Although I know Extremely a lot of polished. Fan, uh Double Dash. <laughs> Oh, whoa, really? I, did, I actually didn't yeah. know that. I've never played Double Dash, um, but I there are a lot of people that are diehard Double Dash people that are like, this was the best Mario Kart ever. Wow. I Wow. that's That surprises me. I mean, I, I played Double Dash, but I it was good, as are all of the Mario Kart games, but <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. Yeah, I mean, there's not really, like, a bad Mario Kart, but... Yeah, no, I, I there agree. There are definitely ones that are better than others. Yes, totally. Oh, no, there's a checkpoint there! Oh, I'm so stupid! Man, it's all falls apart for Eric. <laughs> yeah, I'm an idiot. And this doesn't even respawn you like Forza, so that's cool. Um... So... Get okay, good, Eric. I know. Um, I do like in this game that you can actually, like really personalize your avatar like my character actually looks a lot like me like long hair and everything you know what i kind of forgot all about that aspect of this game until you just said that i'm gonna have to <laughs> check out your avatar here yeah i'm not entirely sure how <laughs> <laughs> um lolo got window tint on my car <laughs> window tint you said yeah i got gotcha. so you oh yeah really so it's tough to see um, Lolo says Project Cars is kind of fun, but it's way better on a steering wheel. I yeah, I believe that. I found it to be unplayable on a controller. But again, I'm also that's because I'm bad at it. It's not. I always want to be a million percent clear. It's n I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying I don't like it. It's my own personal opinion. I know it's a good game. Lots of people love it. Um, Patrick says, Have you seen the videos where it says, What if EA Sports bought this and this? No, I haven't. I'm sure they would be infuriating. <laughs> um, 
Cyanide says, Need for Speed 2021 coming out through the OG from the OG developers criterion. I saw that. Very exciting. As is the that Dirt is. 5 announcement where they said that they are going to try to recreate something similar to Dirt 2 and Dirt 3 with Dirt 5. I thought it was kind of an interesting thing to come out and say. Um, I still think it's so weird that they got Nolan North and... Um Oh crap! Troy What's Baker. Other, Troy like, Baker. Troy Baker. Yeah. No, for real. They're like, because it. Well, I guess the thing that's weird about it is that like past Dirt games have had like actual racing drivers lend their voices for things like Travis Pastrana, um, people like that, and it's like, so so for this one, we're gonna have fake drivers voiced by people that are definitely not racing drivers. <laughs> Yeah, but they definitely know how to get that emotion into their voice. Because if you've seen some of the videos in NASCAR Heat, race car drivers are not good at acting. <laughs> in fact, they are hilariously bad at acting. So I, so I didn't even think about no, that until I just said true. that. So it's kind of making a little more sense after just thinking about that. But, but, but at the same time, it's like, you know, racing games don't need like top tier voice work no you're right you're right you're totally right uh it seems like a, a crazy paycheck they probably had to pay to get those two talents um yeah all right so more chat here uh lucky girl says nfs most wanted 2005 was a legendary game uh i'd call and sh she also says i'd call midnight club 3 the best game of all time Alex says... Oh, yeah, Midnight Club the yeah. Dub Edition Remix is phenomenal. Midnight Club is... Yeah, I forgot. That one I would definitely put up there, too. That's a superb game. Yeah. Oh, and Alex Booth, another, another worthy contender here, says Titanfall 2. Agree, that should be in the conversation. Agree. Uh, Lolo says, graphic-wise, development, movement, etc. Car games are the best for those, but I don't know... Like, there are obviously better games, I guess. Yeah, to I, I, totally. I just mean, like, in, as an all-encompassing video games as an art form, there's just so much you can do with them. Um, <laughs> and then Patrick says, Is mayonnaise a racing game? Uh, <laughs> my best Patrick Star impression. No, above mayonnaise is not <laughs> a racing game. Yes, I love it. Um, check... Still at 16, Alex. Um, unfortunately. Uh, Patrick says, I go to Dave & Buster's to play Mario Kart. I haven't played the Dave & Buster's version of Mario Kart, but I want to really bad. It looks cool. Uh, Lolo says, if you get like 300k, you should get the MX-5, change the engine, do an inline 6.6... Three point eight liter and upgraded it to the max with drag tires, and it does zero to one hundred in one point seven seconds. Uh, dang. <laughs> um, Patrick says, "Did you see the uh, the uh, Dega race yesterday? Uh, my mom's here. She saw it. I did not see it, but I saw obviously all the uh, all of the uh, news surrounding it. Um, and and like shout out to Net. Who would have thought?" that NASCAR would have been the sport to, like, step up above all sports, really, to take a stand against racial inequality. Uh, good, like, genuinely good for you, NASCAR. And I think that's only going to be good long-term for the sport. Um, I'm sure it's going to make some people angry in the short term, but those people deserve to be left behind. Um, <laughs> so I think, I think that's all. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. I was glad to see all the support that Bubba Wallace got. Totally. Um, where they rolled out his car out to pit lane. Totally. And had everybody stand behind him. Like, that was Awesome that was moment. Awesome. Definitely an awesome moment. Um, and then Patrick's uh, watched the race said, I loved it, but it was a non-breathing race. Nobody was giving an inch. Well, so I didn't see the race, but I saw a couple of news uh, clips about the finish was insane. Like, final, final lap. There's, a, like, a big crash near the end. Like, it was a literal photo finish between, like, two drivers. And one guy crossed the line backwards because he spun out. Oh. And I think he finished, like, fourth or fifth. Wow. It's like, not kidding. It was a crazy, crazy race. That's nuts. I, I wish I, I... I actually wish I had watched it. All right, I'm doing I'm doing halfway decent here. Okay, Eric, I, I want to see at least a podium finish in this race because this is a pretty low difficulty one. Okay. I just gotta 
I'm glad you told me that because I'll focus up here. I won't. I'm no no looking at the chat for <laughs> for the rest of this race. <laughs> I can get a podium here, no problem. Narrator, he could not. Get <laughs> it was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot this was a, this had, this track had a pretty cool layout. Yeah, this one is cool. I like this one. So I'm kind of curious. Do my like button inputs and stuff come across in the chat? Only, only sometimes, and I didn't even notice it until you just said it. But I did hear a few after you said after you said that. Um, okay, I was curious. It like, certainly hasn't been like I, I literally didn't even notice it if they were. So, because there have been times that uh, I, I've been playing online with like a friend of mine, and we're playing over like PlayStation chat. Yeah, and I can just hear the clicking, clacking, clicking, clacking of <laughs> this controller like the whole. Time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh you're actually Go ahead. You're doing fairly well right now. Yeah, I yeah, I'm uh, holding it together here for now. We'll see if I can keep it together for the last lap. Um you absolutely took off. Yeah. I got a lot of nitrous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot about nitrous. Oh. <laughs> All right. Jeez. I completely forgot about nitrous. Oh, Eric. <laughs> I know. Um, man, there was one more video yeah, game so thing. Am... Go ahead. So what? I am very curious. I am very curious to see what the next Need for Speed is going to be like. Because uh, the last time Criterion did a Need for Speed game, I think it was Need. I think they co-developed Need for Speed Rivals with Ghost Games, and Ghost Games is the team that did uh, Need for Speed Heat, yep. Need for Speed Payback, and um, the Need for Speed Reboot in 2015. Was that a reboot, or was that a uh, game based on the movie? Or was it kind of both? Oh, no, it was its own thing. Oh, okay, okay. Gosh, that movie was terrible. Um, yeah, stop. Why spam, DigiZoom? Why? Why do people do this? Why? Just don't spam. Um, Hunter for real here is here. What's up, Hunter? How's it going? Um. So you're not coming across very clearly at the moment for some reason. To to you? Yeah. Okay. Let me let me restart my headset again. That happens sometimes. Um. <laughs> Alex Gosey, you heard him, boys. It's useless to type. <laughs> um. No links. Uh, most links are cool, Patrick. You won't get at least you won't get auto banned for for posting links. Um. Lucky girl says Skyway. Do you know about the money glitch in this game? No. Hey What's the money glitch? Um. Patrick says just buy the ultimate edition. Uh, of what, Patrick? Which game? Um, ah, Alex has checked the players. We'll do Alex. Um, still 16. Here, you know what? Let me... Hey, there you are. Let me... Yo. Uh, let me try to still send one more, Alex. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Because sometimes it says 16 and it's not really 16. Um, so I'll send one more. Also, I'm just going to add you as a friend, Alex. I hope that's okay, just to make this easier. Um, invite to a game. Oh, man. it's a, Yeah, it must be full, because it looked like you joined for a second, and then it kicked you for a second. That's a bummer. Um, 
Lucky Girl says, so the glitch is after a race, you just go in the pause menu and fast travel to the garage and repeat that with races. It makes it to where you keep getting the max amount of cash for the races. Really? Interesting. Um, I can't, it's just not, like, it won't work, Alex, because I try, because Joel's on a PS4. Sorry. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm not, generally, it's no issue at all, but when we tried to do it when I was the party leader before, it just, it, like, it literally wouldn't work. Oh, I should probably go back to the, uh, the game view here. Um, cause we, we tried it before we started the stream and it, and it was being, it was being dumb, unfortunately. The dog just let out a big sigh. Oh. <laughs> This was you who just sent that, right, Joel? Yep. All right. Join me, and together we can race through the galaxy. <laughs> um. Alex says, "And let." All right, Alex. Look, how about so we only stream? We stream two o'clock to four o'clock. So after this next race. If you're cool with it, Joel, let's back out. We'll get Alex in. We'll at least do one or two races with Alex. Because Alex is the really the only person this uh, this stream who has really wanted to hop in. And if anybody else wants to hop in, say so now. This is going to be the only opportunity. Because <laughs> we're not going to do this a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but I appreciate... Uh, definitely appreciate the uh, the chat. And Alex seems cool. So we'll... Uh, so we'll We'll get Alex in here at least for a race or two at the end. And and obviously, sir, just to again make clear, like I'm I'm sir, I'm not trying to be like rude or mean or anything. I just it just takes a lot of the momentum out of a stream to to be constantly like going back into menus and reloading and inviting. You know, it's just kind of mm -hmm. it can take the momentum out. Obviously, nothing against you, Alex. You seem very cool. I think I heard your dog. <laughs> Did you really? I didn't even hear my dog. Oh, crap. So, I will say, despite the uh, early technical difficulties, um, this uh, crossplay has been working really quite seamlessly. Yeah, it's been going well at once we got it figured out initially here. Now, we'll see, we'll see if adding a, a third person does anything. <gasps> did I hit that? I did. Oh, man. <laughs> Almost missed. <a> yeah, <laughs> I thought for sure I was gonna be screwed. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that's what that sound was. Yep. Yeah, I sure hope that, like, with, with like, Need for Speed of all games adding crossplay, I hope that means that we'll start seeing more crossplay multiplayer. Man, uh, I hope so, too. <laughs> yeah, I really hope so, too. That is, uh... And, and honestly, one of the big reasons why... So, uh, a little spoiler alert, I, I guess, uh, for, for you, Joel, for the post i sent an email around about um i am currently not planning on getting either one of like neither one of the new consoles and really i'm not even kind of planning on it um i am definitely going pc uh all day all the way and it's specifically for my favorite uh quote driving game rocket league but really so yeah. a lot so 
why is that? Why does a PC make that big of a difference with Rocket League? Well, because it doesn't seem like a game that would necessarily benefit from yes, being on PC. You would think. Um, so the thing with Rocket League, and particularly, and I don't know how true this is because I'm the rank that I'm at, um, and I have never been higher. Um, so I don't know how it is in in the higher ranks, but at the at the point I am now in Rocket League extremely precise movements become important um and i'm at the point now where the input lag is just at a point where it's certainly not holding me back like obviously there are xbox players who um achieve like really high ranks um all right so let's back out and get alex in here joel if, if we can yeah um quit to lobby um but so so to, to give you an example uh like there's this great there's this rocket league like youtuber content creator that i like a lot who i shout out on the stream all the time because he's great his name is sunless Khan. his stuff's really good um and he had a thing where he gifted he was giving away a gaming pc um and he gave it away to one of his followers who happened to be a an Xbox player. Um, uh, sorry, I'm trying to get... Oh. So it will not allow me to invite you to the game, Alex. That's that's weird. Let me see if I can do it through... Are you in? The, are you EA friends with him? You're, yeah, I need to be EA friends. You're right. Um... I don't know if that makes a difference or not. No, I think it does. I think it does. All right, Alex. So we need to get... Oh. Because if I have a screen name, maybe I could find him and start up the party from here. Yeah. Alex, can you put your... Um. Oh, you didn't create the party in the game. I I got I got it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. You still aren't for some reason showing up uh, in my EA friends, but hold on. But anyways, I'm so self hitting R one and L one. <laughs> so this content creator, um. Wait, how in the world do I invite you now? Ah, uh, alright, we're good. Accepting invitation. Sick. Alright, we're. Uh, I think we're all in here. Who's the party leader? Me or you? Hmm. I think it might be... It's me. It's me. It's me. Okay, so I will... Uh, I will start an online session here... Nothing is happening yet. Ah, there's the load screen. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, so it looks like we're in business here. Um, so, anyways, very long, too long story short. Sunless Khan, uh, this one of his users who obviously was a Rocket League player, he played on Xbox. He won a gaming PC. Um, and the way ranks go in Rocket League, if you don't know. It goes bronze one, two, then three, then silver one, two, three, gold one, two, three, plat one, two, three, diamond one, two, three, champ one, two, three, then grand champ. Um, uh, no, unfortunately, we do not. Uh, we do not have chatters in the party just because this is the official autoblog.com um, live stream. So it's like a live stream for a brand, and you know, I'm sure, I'm sure you wouldn't say anything crazy, but like you, you know. We just can't. We got to keep that that part locked down. Um, uh, but anyway, so this this kid who got this gaming PC in one week from playing on Xbox to playing on PC went from a Platinum 3 rank to a Diamond 3 rank. Now, if that doesn't sound crazy to everybody, trust me, it should. That is an insane <laughs> jump in a week. Absolutely insane. Um, so that is, uh, just one small testament 
to the benefits that uh, a PC can bring. But honestly, for for me, a lot of it would be um, the mods and the training packs on D- on PC are just completely unmatched. Like they, you ju- uh, you just can't get them on on Xbox. Which which that makes more sense to me. <laughs> yeah. I yes. Just never would have thought that like, because I I get that like with competitive first person shooters. Um, input lag and precision are so so critical to being um, effective on a competitive level. Yeah. In first person shooters, but I figured with like Rocket with Rocket League, it seems like there's enough margins for error that it wouldn't make that big. Of a no, on, then hey, uh, honestly, I, truly, I, you're overestimating the margin of error. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah, genuinely, it's uh, it's crazy. Rocket League has the most pre- precise. That's one of the reasons why I love it and hate it is because it has some of the most precise controls of maybe the most precise controls of any racing game. Um, but it's not really a racing game, so I can't really... That's an unfair comparison. Whoa! Alex flying in on the left here! <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> um, oh, hey, I'm party leader, so I gotta start up some races. Uh, so I should probably find one. Yeah, because I do not appear to have that option. Yes, no, no, no. We'll uh, we'll get some. I'm on the uh, I'm on the oval track. There's a there's basically a NASCAR oval race if you want to do it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm on my way. Um. Alex says. Or whatever floats your boat. Alex does does play Rocket League. Nice. Alex says, I didn't even reach gold ever. Dude, it takes work. Like, r- r- dude, it takes so much work. Like, Rocket League is so freaking hard, it's insane. Um, well, it's at least hard to, like, rank, like, to play at, like, higher levels. Um, oh, no. Cyanide said, when I say I want to join, but don't get red. I'm so sorry, Cyanide. Are you serious? Are you on Xbox? If you're on Xbox, I'll send you, uh... Oh my god. Dude, I'm so sorry, Cyanide. I just missed it. Oh, I saw I read your thing and thought it was Alex. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll s- Man, I feel so bad now. I'm sorry, Cyanide. I suck. Let me see so if maybe I what can... we need to do is like halfway into the stream be like listen yeah everybody yeah like at this point in time yeah no i i i agree that that may be the move yeah we don't we don't mean to leave anybody out it's just it can be difficult for us to catch everything between playing the game and talking to each other and running the chat and yeah that making sure that that nothing breaks <laughs> yeah that's my that is my bad cyanide hold on uh, okay hold on we got 10 minutes left i'm backing out we're getting cyanide in. i want to do this right we're, we're only doing like one or two more races anyways um because okay. i getting back to lobby i apologize cyanide that was com- obviously completely unintentional let's all go to the lobby it's all good. But yeah, in the future, in it's the future, I definitely agree. Party. I think the move. And wait to join the party. <laughs> I definitely think the move is to, uh, like, halfway through the stream, be like, all right, anybody who wants to join, join now or forever hold your peace. Um, <laughs> I will try not to dox Alex again. We will. Uh... <laughs> all right, invite to game. All right, we got Alex's invite. Let's see if we can get Yes, I accept the EA friend request from Cyanide. All right, so invite Cyanide and invites Joel. All right, good stuff. Invitation received, accepted. Oh, Sword Art Online. That's something that I wish existed. Why can't I speak today? That's something that I wish existed in real life, Alex, is what I meant to say. I wish that, uh, like, real VR was like that. 
that's actually the main reason that I would like to have a PC. It's like a fairly powerful PC at some point because I so badly want to play Half-Life Alex. Yeah, for sure. Um, oh, no problem, Lolo. See you later. Thanks for watching. Um, but yeah, no, Half-Life Al Half -Life Alex. There's this one. I don't know if you've heard anything about it. It's called Astrobot. Supposedly, it's like incredible. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I've heard it's really good. Yeah. It's for PlayStation VR. Yeah, yeah. There's a sequel to it coming out for PS5. I saw that, yeah. Yeah, I've been tempted to get a PSVR headset um, a couple of times. In part because I think it would be really fun with Gran Turismo Sport. Because oh, the yeah. interiors of those Guaranteed. cars are like full, are really fully modeled and detailed. So, I mean, it would be like just being there. Yeah. Yeah, I really... It looks like things have worked. I really hope this generation is like is like the big VR generation. Um, oh, Actually, Alex says I it's 11 p.m. for my country. That's wild. Where, where are you at, Alex? If you're comfortable saying. If you're not, don't worry about it. We are in America here. In Michigan. Romania. Sick. Very cool. Someone has a Ford GT. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me. Uh... So Alex has a nice looking Mustang GT. All right, we're doing this nice uh, NASCAR style race here. Oh boy. Well, whoever that was is about to smoke me, at least. Probably all of us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, wait a minute. Chal play all solo, right. challenge party, or challenge all? Challenge party. That's what you were doing? All right, challenge party. Accept. Beautiful. Waiting on one person to party up. There we go. Oh, baby. Yeah, not gonna lie. I'm, I'm impressed at how well this is working. I mean, like, yeah, for... granted, it's it's kind of a pain for the initial set setup, but once it's working, it seems to just work. Yeah. Which is nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this very much seemed like a last ditch, we're just gonna throw this out there and see if it works type of move by EA to put this functionality mm -hmm. in this game. So clearly, well, and this is the this is the last update for this game. Yeah, yeah, that's what I that's what I mean. It seems like they're kind of like, nah, this one's on its way out. We'll make sure it works with this one, because this is the mm -hmm. first, this is the first time any EA game, and you probably know this, Joel, but for anyone who doesn't, this is the first time yeah. any EA game ever has had crossplay, which I did not mm -hmm. realize, but that's a pretty big deal. I mean, EA for, despite what you think of them, are a gigantic manufacturer of games. Probably yeah. the biggest. Certainly one of the biggest. Yeah, and so, like, my thinking is that they were like, okay, this game is kind of older. It probably doesn't have as big of a user base. Yeah. So this is a good... Soft like, launch it. <laughs> or, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, kind of a weird move, but I'm glad that, uh... Uh, like, I'm glad they made it, for sure. Yeah, I mean, because I don't have Xbox Live, so I haven't been able to join in yeah. online with that. Yeah, and now we can pretty easily play a, uh, a cross-play game. Yeah. Well, so this race is fine. pretty predictable. <laughs> yeah, sign. I just got lapped, and then it was. Oh my God, sign! I just flew past me. That is nuts. <laughs> wow. Well, at least uh, we're all gonna be uh, top four here. Uh oh, Alex is coming around to lap me too. Um, Joel, I know we've talked about this probably a million times, but can you remind <laughs> me, have you played the Assassin's Creed games or no? I have not. No, okay, okay. 
I know we've talked about the facts that I've been playing through them, but I, I completed a yet another one recently. I beat Unity, really enjoyed it, and now I'm playing Syndicate. And I'm very excited because this is the last one before the uh, soft reboot that they did with Origins. And that's what I really, really, really want to get to. So I'm very, very pumped. Alex says that gave me virtually no money. Well, yeah, I mean, because you two are clearly much higher level than uh, <laughs> than I am, and well, probably we, even Joel. <laughs> yeah, we, we maybe need to do... Um, actually, I think I may have a faster car. <laughs> I mean, but I, we should I do we not. Should maybe do a race with, we should maybe do a race with... Uh, um, traffic and corners. <laughs> All right, so that'll be the... Get to hopefully maybe even things up a little bit. <laughs> we'll do the Scorpion. I love I love the name, okay. so I'm headed give, there. Give me, give, me like a, give me like a couple minutes just so I can go grab this car of mine. <laughs> I think I still have it. Alex said max oh, level. Wait. That's nuts. Lucky Girl said, did you see my message about Rocket League? I don't think I did, Lucky Girl. Uh, let's see wait. here. Maybe, oh, you know what, I think I may have gotten rid of that car, I'm not sure. <laughs> Lucky Girl says, if there's input lag on console, then, then that explains why I think I hit the ball and miss. Well, I mean, it's not that drastic of input lag. <laughs> like, it's certainly, it's there, but it shouldn't be affecting uh, you not being able to hit the ball. However, one thing that could, uh, the, the console input lag, and then plus if your TV um, is introducing additional lag for instance uh always make sure your tv is on game mode when you're playing games particularly games like rocket league and shooters where input lag matters um because not having your tv on game mode will definitely make your life way way harder so i did not have my tv on game mode for the longest time and then i switched to game mode and miraculously i started doing way better immediately so <laughs> So heads up for anybody who uh, plays on a TV monitor. Make sure it's on game mode. Oh, I did not realize I... that was uh, water. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I do not have the car that I thought I used to have. Ah, Must have sold it. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is definitely going to be the last race here uh, coming up. Did not realize the time. But uh, for anybody who's unaware, we generally stream Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Tired. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Challenge party. Oh, oh no! Crap, there's no time out. I mean, this is li we literally end at like four usually. We're already gonna go over. <laughs> I'm sorry. We got the one race in though. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex. We did get the one race in, and you and you dominated yeah. us, as expected. And this is and this is the first time we've done this crossplay. We'll probably do it again sometime. Yes. Oh, almost, almost certainly. How this works? For sure. <laughs> Alex says, "I just wanted to fly out of your side of the screen." <laughs> oh, I. Uh, uh oh. I missed that checkpoint. Uh -oh. Now I think I got it. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, I can cut across." Wait a minute, that's a checkpoint. <laughs> Oh, we got Buster in front of me. I'm suddenly feeling a lot more like Vin Diesel. <laughs> if you weren't going to make a reference, I would. Yeah. <laughs> Have to. I mean, that's for sure why they call the car Buster. It has to be. An AI car, anyways. The Buster kept me out of jail! <laughs> oh, no! I went the wrong way. Lucky Girl says, I have an older flat screen TV. I don't have a smart TV. 
Yeah, that might, uh, that probably would be introducing a fair amount of input lag if it's an older TV. It, it still might have a game mode, though. Even the older style TVs often had a game mode. Um, worth taking a look. At the very least. But that could, uh, that could potentially... Whoa! I did that again! That's annoying. Eric is not getting good. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I am not. I'm sure it's going to be this times a million on Thursday with the Seto. So... <laughs> Uh, I kind of narrowed the gap with Cyanide, but he's so far ahead that I, I don't know if he just finished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh... Maybe. I got as close as about 600 yards. But... Wow, 600? Yeah, that... That, uh... That early... That early screw-up of mine did not help me. <laughs> yeah, me running off the track not once but twice! Certainly didn't help me either. But still got a respectful second. I got a respectable dead last. <laughs> got a respectable DNF, probably. Yeah, I one thing I would I would probably be able to make some of my cars even faster, but I've never been able to uh, do well with the high heat races. I get captured so frequently that I then lose like all of my yeah points and cash and. It's frustrating. Yeah, the uh, the cops do not mess around in this game. That is for sure. Um, but anyways, that is going to do it for the stream today. Um, <laughs> Alex, Alex says, I just randomly poof into a barrel roll like 10 times before meeting my demise in the never-ending realm of low suspension glitches. <laughs> <laughs> um... Boy, that sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so Alex says, after you get a car with 400 plus, you never get busted. So FYI, I guess that's the that's the goal. Shoot for 400. Um, yeah. But anyway, so that was uh, that's going to do it for the stream today. Thank you for watching, everyone. Thanks for chatting, and thanks for playing, everybody who played. Um, we'll have a more structured w way to uh, get viewers in next time for sure. Um, uh, next time we do this game, that is, uh, not next time, next time, because next time, next time is actually this Thursday. We're going to be starting this Thursday at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, and I am going to be attempting to play the console version of Assetto Corsa Competizione, and that should be at the very least interesting, because I'm not good at those games at all. Um... <laughs> So, you want me to come on and try and, I could try and coach you a little bit if you're having trouble? I, did, I thought, let me think about it because part of me is like, I'm, I'm genuinely going to be like triggered and frustrated. And so I just don't want to be like, you know, so I don't know. I always feel like whenever I get in like that kind of mode, I just feel like I can be like mean sometimes. So I, I don't want to do that, but, <laughs> but, but maybe, um, I mean, odds are I would probably just laugh at how many <laughs> true true but that would just make me angrier but because like there's a thin li there's a line i like to walk here's a little here's a little behind the scene like behind the curtain for the stream is like clearly it's it's entertaining when people get angry sometimes and people tell me that apparently it's funny when i get really angry i disagree though i think when i get I mean, truly angry i don't like it like i don't like myself when i get like actually mad because i can't like compose my thoughts and it's just like not good um so, like, fake mad is, like, fun. Like, I'm definitely down... Like, I definitely, uh... Embellish some of my anger sometimes on the stream in the name of comedy. However, with na with games, uh... Like, these, like, simmy kind of games... Uh, and even, like, the, uh... Like, the snow runner, it's like... You can tell when I'm, like, genuinely angry. And I'm, like, not having fun. And I'm, like, not... Enter I'm, like, not even entertaining. So, it's just, like... <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. Um... But anyways, the moral of that story is we'll be back again on Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, 
with that game, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday from 2 to 4 Eastern Standard Time. Um, this is the official autoblog.com live stream, so if you have not yet, please check out autoblog.com. We got all the latest and greatest automotive news and reviews. We also have car shopping tools that could, uh, that could help you out if you're looking to buy a car. Um, all kinds of good stuff on Autoblog. Uh, we're also all over social media. We've got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Um, and uh, for any... TikTok. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> Kesha reference um, An old Kesha, old Kesha reference, reference. Um, If you're Watching on YouTube please consider Subscribing that helps us out a lot and if you're watching on Twitch please consider following that helps us out a lot And to anyone who already has thank you Very much that is a uh, huge um, There's a reason why All the content creators of the world are so Annoying about it it's because it genuinely Makes a pretty big deal um, but so thank you, uh, to everyone for doing that. Thanks to the chat for being, uh, super cool today. Uh, so real alphas hopping in. So we're just, uh, we're just ending, um, we're just ending the, uh, the chat, but, uh, real alphas just hopping or er, ending the stream rather real alpha just said N NFS heat has crossplay now. Yes, it's brand new. Uh, Alex says, you're a nice streamer, but you need to read chat fast. You need to learn to read chat faster. Yeah. I mean, Unfortunately, that's never gonna happen. So, like, I sh I'm just gonna be honest and upfront about it now. Literally, that will literally never happen. Uh, I can only look away from the screen so much. <laughs> so, I do my best. I do my best. I can promise I'll continue doing my best. But this, uh, you know, when the chat's really moving and grooving, um, it can be tough. Uh, it can be tough. Because I don't want to look away from the screen and, like, crash into every wall. Uh, or at least less than I already do. Um, so Alex says, you need to get an on-screen chat. Y yeah, uh, I'm streaming from a Mac, so unfortunately, that is impossible. And I'm also streaming uh, on an Xbox, so it's, like, a super convoluted setup. Uh, it's not the and best. We're, also not, we're not in our usual streaming location either because of the coronavirus of the pandemic yes uh we're not allowed into our main office that has our like primary streaming setup <laughs> yes yes true so this is uh this has just been like a secondary uh stream from home type thing since the uh since the quarantines began um but yeah, so unfortunately, it just kind of, this isn't very interesting, but like, because I stream from a Mac and because I'm streaming on a, like, from an Xbox and then on a Mac, it just makes my life uh, a little more difficult than it needs to be. Um, and that's why we can't do it. So I actually have a second computer uh, right here to read read the chat on. That's what, that's what I've uh, had to do for this. Um... Alex says, wait, so you're like a really big streamer or what? No, no, but we're just, autoblog.com is certainly a, a, I mean, we're a fairly big website. Uh, in fact, I think we're now, what was our latest comp score? I know we can, uh, we're, we're top 10. Yeah, we can confidently say we're, we're a top 10 automotive website. I believe comp score is worldwide at the very least in, in the United States, but I believe it's worldwide. Um, so yeah, fair, fairly big website that that we work for, and this is just one small aspect of uh, of the website. But uh, but again, it is a small aspect, and uh, I have many other aspects to my job which I need to wrap this up <laughs> and get to right now. <laughs> um, but thanks thanks again for watching, everybody. We will be back on uh, t Thursday. It's only Tuesday. We'll be back on Thursday at two. Um, so we did I miss anything? We have we have merch, but uh, but like don't like donate to a cause you care about <laughs> instead. That's what I've been saying for the last like couple weeks or so. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything. And if I uh, if I miss, oh, and we have a podcast as well. Uh, check out the Autoblock podcast. All right, I've been rambling forever now, so we're gonna end the stream. Adios, <laughs> bye. <laughs>